Hi, during these trying times of the pandemic, the City of Columbia Parks and Recreation Department realizes that choices can be limited in enhancing one's physical, social, and mental well-being. The Parks and Recreation staff have been involved in developing a number of videos in which citizens can participate in and enjoy in the privacy of their own home. These videos consist of arts and crafts, gardening, physical activity, and sports instruction, with many more to come as we work through this pandemic. Our videos will be available to you on a number of our social media outlets. We hope you enjoy and thank you very much. Hi, my name is Bohumila Augustinova. I'm with Columbia Art Center with um, Parks and Recreation for City of Columbia. And today we will be making a puppet out of recycled materials. So I made a little sample here. Um, a little simple dog, but you can make any kind of animals. Um, and what are we using today is um, toilet paper rolls. Uh, we're going to use some craft paper, but you can also use scrap of fabrics or magazines and newspapers um, and a piece of string. I am going to use a yarn, but any kind of string will do, ribbons, um, twine, whatever you have at home could be used. Uh, we also have, uh, I'm using a popsicle stick, but you can use a twig or any kind of piece of wood. First thing is to decide what kind of animal we're gonna make. And I have a little dog, so I'm gonna make a little dog again. Um, and I believe that dogs can be any color. So I'm gonna use my craft paper first and um, measure the width of the paper and cut it out. First, going to glue this piece of paper on. So you wanna, you wanna glue the whole surface. Um, and like with every glue, you want to give it a few seconds to start working. If you put, it, put the glue on a surface and put the paper on it right away, it is not going to stick. So you want to have maybe 15 seconds um, before you actually start gluing. Wrap this around the roll and try to make it nice and neat. But you don't have to use paper if you don't have a craft paper at home. You can use fabric scraps, um, you can use magazine paper, or you can just use your, your crayons and pastels and draw designs. Um, you do not have to use craft paper. And I am gonna put a little extra glue here to close it all up. Now the head of the piece doesn't have to be as big, so we're gonna cut it, I would say maybe to half. Okay, so now that we have the base of the body and head done, we're kind of gonna figure out where we're gonna make the holes for legs and the neck uh, for when we're putting the strings through. So we are going to need four holes on the bottom of the body and two holes on the top. You kind of wanna make sure that they are in the same area so you don't have a crooked legs or anything. And I do love this tool. You can buy it in any craft store. Um, if your mom sews or your grandmother sews, she probably has one of these at home. And they're super safe to use. So we're gonna make four holes right here. And then two holes on the top. And this would be the part to do any kind of decorations. I like to use scrap paper 
every bits and piece of it. And so this is perfect. If you already have pieces like this, just use them. So I have a couple stripes or three stripes. I'm gonna attach them here. I hope my dog won't look too much like a zebra. I do like using glue sticks for projects like these because it's just not as messy. Um, if you're using um, regular glue, it's a little, little messier, but it can be done. Um, just when you do so, maybe use a brush um, to keep things a little neater. Okay, so now let's give a dog eyes. Um, we actually have a little um, set of, of googly eyes, but you don't have to use those. You can use, um, you can use markers or buttons or um, scraps of paper. You kind of want to decide where you want the eyes to be. So I'm going to mark it with my pencil. And I would like to give this little buddy ears. I actually really like to use the leftover of my roll and kind of do that as a support for my ears. You kind of want to draw a teardrop and I'm going to draw it actually on the uh, roll itself. And you cut it out and use it to make sure your ears are matching. So let's glue this on to our um, to our toilet paper roll cutouts. Okay. So we can attach them to the dog. And just make sure when, you, you, when you're gluing them on the actual head, you don't cover the hole that we already punched through. And you're gonna have to hold this just for a few seconds, again, for the glue to attach. Okay, so now we have a head and the body kind of done, and let's put it all together. So I have a yarn together uh, today with me, but as I said, you can use any kind of string, anything you have at home could be done. I'm going to pull this string through one of the legs, through the inside of the tube, and down. Out of the leg. Okay. So we want to make sure our legs are about same same length, but for right now we kind of want to keep them a little longer, um, so we have enough room to make a knot on the bottom. So I have some beads here today. If you don't have beads, um, you can use the lids from your soda bottle. And these are really great. They have a big holes in them, so they're really easy to string through. Okay. 
so um, the best way to kind of ensure that the bottom bead stays on, that kind of holds everything, I'm actually gonna loop it around and tie um, the knot above the bead. Move this out of the way so you actually see what I'm doing. Tie knot, let's make a double just for safety. Or you can put a little bit of glue there. Cut the little piece off. And now the beads are not going anywhere. They're just there. Okay, let's do the other side. And great thing about doing the legs this way is that you don't have to measure and worry about how you make your legs symmetrical because then you can just adjust the length like this. All right, now we have a front legs, let's give it a back legs. All right, so now our dog has a legs and let's attach um, the head to the body. And here you actually will have to make a knot when you, um, when you pull it through the hole. Um, you can start with the knot, pull it through, and then we're gonna pull it through the bottom hole of the head And again, I'm making a double knot just to make sure that everything's secure. And now we want to make, uh, we want to attach it to our popsicle stick. We're going to get our yarn again, and we're going to cut two slightly longer pieces. They're not going to have to be the same length, but um, we can adjust it. So the longer piece will go on the back of the dog's body and the shorter piece is going to go on the head. Okay, and we're going to, I'm actually not going to attach this just yet to the popsicle stick. I'm going to wait when I have um, the front done as well. Okay, now we kind of want to make sure that um, that our dog is even when we're attaching it. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a trim over here, kind of make sure that this part and this part are about the same. Okay, and now we're gonna attach them to our um, stick. We just wrap it around, give it a nice tight knot over there. As I said before, if you don't have popsicle sticks at home, you can use any piece of wood, you can use tweaks. Of course, you can play with this and add tail, which we can do right away, or tongue, or anything you really want to do with your dog, right? Because he's yours, you can get creative, you can decorate your stick as well. Um, if, you're using, if you're doing a tail, the um, best thing to use is a little pipe cleaner. Um, you can cut those very easily and I am actually going to tape it on the inside of the dog's body. And pipe cleaners are super fun. You can actually do the legs with pipe cleaners as well. And we can give a happy tail to the dog. And let's give him a little bit of a pink tongue. I have a little bit of pink uh, paper here. I'm just gonna do a small little and 
this shape should be some, somewhat like a teardrop, just without the point on the top. All right. Now we're gonna tape it in. All right, we made a dog. <laughs>